I don't know. It, okay, yeah, I think it's recording. Okay. I would like the default Alice, thank you. This is like my sixth or maybe seventh try off with the music, please. On with the music, please, because I just not. We need some music. Man, I fuck up this thing so much for this game. It should not be this difficult for me. Oh, down, down, down. Okay. Okay. Uh, what we're going to do? I'm hoping I survive this time. I really want to live with the default Alice. They say it's possible. I haven't seen it be possible yet. Is every episode ended the exact same way? So what we're going to do? I'm going to like what I did the first time. Wait, no, I never tried that yet. I need to think about 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 about, 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 about. I need to think about my options. Okay, what was your plan? The broadcast kept saying to stay indoors, keep all windows and doors closed, stuff like that. Was it realistic of you to think that you could stay in the apartment? Realistic? It wasn't like I had been through a lot of apocalypses before. I'm not sure what constitutes realistic. I had enough food in my cup boards to last me a while, a little while. So at least I had that going for me. Oh yeah. And then I had my trusty radio, of course. I tried it and it worked. It was sent out the same emergency broadcast as TV, and you call me a little actor. I don't know how to pronounce that. You got me there, so what did you do? I decided to, to try to tough it out at home. It's new! Yay, I'm not doing the exact same stuff as I did in all the other episodes. I suppose I decided to stay home mostly because that's what the message was telling us to do. Is this the part where you start putting aluminum foil over the windows and prepare your bathtub for extended living? <laughs> As if I even had the presence of mind to do that. I just listened to the man on the TV. He said, move. You, you and your family to the centermost room in your house. Preferably one without windows. Preferably underground. Then your building has some kind of shelter, at least on this side. At the pond, it feels like you can't walk down a block without stumbling on a half a dozen bomb shelters. Oh, God. Sadly, no. We never got into the habit of getting bombed during our wars. We're the ones doing all the bombing. That's true. Anyway, bathroom it was. Did you think to bring anything? All right, yes. I grabbed the biggest bag I had. A backpack. People always called it magic. You could fit so much into it. Bigger on the inside and all that. I thought it was going to be fully different, but it's not. Okay. I'm going to take my crowbar. Oh, wait, the crowbar is new. I've never had a crowbar before. Now I got a crowbar? Why do I got a crowbar? I mean, questions right now. Why do I have a crowbar all of a sudden? I've never had a crowbar every other time. Now I got a crowbar. What the fuck? I'm going to take a flashlight. Uh, I can't take the map now because now I have a crowbar. I don't know where I got the crowbar from. Where did the crowbar come from? I don't know. Crowbar is new. I must be going Freeman as a woman. No. Okay. I'm going to take the radio. I can care less about clothes. I want. I'm going to take the sleeping bag and one thing of food. I would take the other thing of food too if I could. I'm pretty sure I could. But, yeah. But I'm just going to say I fit a ton of stuff in my pockets in real life. I fit cans of food in my pockets before. I'm just saying, I went camping before, I did that, I did why I thought was necessary. As in for. Hold on one second, a crowbar? Did you say you brought a crowbar? Yes. Uh, yes. Hmm, actually, that is weird. I was packing my stuff when I suddenly remembered I brought a crowbar at some point, years ago. I know it's weird remembering doing something in the future that I will do remembering something in the future that I will do in the future. Okay. Because I sure as hell don't own any crowbars. I don't think a lot of people do. It's a free specialized tool unless you're a farmer. Well, I did say it was a pretty special dream. Serious question. Why didn't you just bring your entire apartment with you into the bathroom? I mean like bed, every scrap of food, etc. 
Why? How would I be able to bring my bed? That would take a long time. Why would I want to do that? Unless he just means the mattress. But the food makes sense. First of all, I was kind of afraid the building would, you know, collapse. I wanted to be ready to run, so I packed my bags in advance. Secondly, the truth was, I just didn't come to think of it. I'm sure I had, I had uh, tons of other useful things lying around that I just didn't think to bring along. Like a radio. Why not I take, took the radio? Yeah, I did. Alright, so what happened? The end of the world? Come on, let's hear it. It took a lot longer for the bombs, bombs to begin falling than they said. I stayed online for as long as I could with my laptop in the bathroom, doors closed, everything edible stacked around me. The news suggested that the U.S. missile defense was working, that it was shooting down the Russian missiles before they could land. But I guess sooner or later, our lung ran out. Go on. Well, first, the electricity went. I remember being lit up by just my laptop screen before I had time to panic. There was this rumble, and then plaster started draining down from the ceiling and the toilet. Seat was underneath me, kind of started feeling orly. I don't know, like I was in danger of sliding off it. I really hope you're recording. This feels really strange right now. I don't know if you're recording or not. Jesus. I was completely terrified. There was nothing really that can prepare you for it. And that was the first one. How many did they send your way? Uh, I'm going to check real quick to see if this is recording. So give me a moment, please. Sorry for interrupting again. Okay, I think it's recording. I was just making sure. I hope all that did record, or if not, I'm going to have to redo all this. I really don't want to, because I've been reading so much. I'm so into it right now. Like, I'm not really going to want to replay this after that. Yeah, okay. How should I know? After that first hit, the internet was down. The lights didn't come back on, but then a few moments later, there was another one. You know how you kind of count the seconds between seeing the flash and hearing the thunder when there's lightning? Oh, sorry, I got a Canada shirt. Canada! Yeah. This felt like that. Shock after shock. I thought she said Sherlock, to be honest. And then counting the little white flakes chop, dropping down from the ceiling, hoping and praying the next one wouldn't just obliterate you. Did it go on for long? Oh. Spelt some of my tea. I don't think so. After the third one, my laptop and phone both stopped working suddenly. EMP? EMP? What's up? You bitch. You fucking bitch. You don't know what a fucking EMP is. Okay. Electronic magnetic pulse. Electromagnetic pulse. It's just like secondary effect of nuclear blast and knocks out electronics. Wait, how could you not know what that is? It's your dream, after all. That is kind of weird. Dream me definitely new knows more things than Romy does or did. How long did you stay in there? Well, the man on the TV said to monitor broadcast until an all clear was given, or at least 24 hours. I brought my portable radio with me. The net went down, but the radio waves remained, at least for a while. And along for the win. The broadcast stopped after a while, but not before reporting on the wind patterns. There was going to be a lot of fallout raining down right outside my window, right around the 24 hour mark. Oh, so not the best option? Well, da da da. I was pretty sure it'd get inside whether I wanted it or not. The question was if it was worth waiting a little longer. Did you have enough food? I had enough food to last me 24 hours at least. So what was your decision? I stay 24 hours like my own TV. I stay out for as long as I could. 
I'm gonna stay for 24 hours because I know for a fact that has to be a good salt. I made that well, not quite 24 hours. I waited the whole night and most of the morning, I think. And I got increasingly hard to figure out how much time had actually passed. I hope you brought some candles in a book. I brought my laptop, but yeah, that didn't work out. But I did have a copy of Gulliver's Travels in there. No, oh, and Alice in Wonderland, of course. She's named Alice, by the way. <laughs> I didn't own any candles. Some English student I turned out to be. Oh, Akiak. I can't. Hmm. Back to reading paper. Tiss, tiss. Hey, I read books. Dick. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> anyway. I sat on the toilet. And read using the flashlight. It really did wonders to keep me distracted. I have plenty of batteries. Wait, wait, da da. da. I have to ask, are you telling me you sat through the night in real time? I told you I had no idea I was dreaming, it was real. I still get, I'm awake, and I know it was a dream. But it's like, I really experienced it. I get panicked just thinking about it. And I always thought lucid dreaming would be fun, and you turn out thinking, dreaming of this. Maybe if you have power, I had none. Did you get peckish? After a while, luckily I had some food, although I had to eat it cold. Of course, but it was food. It's not like I felt like having a pizza, but it would. It was good to fill up my belly with something. Comfort eating for the win. Fine. Dot. So dot dot dot. After you left the bathroom, what did you see? You know, it honestly, took me a while, to, a little while to wrap my head around that it was still my apartment. You see, all the windows had shattered, so everything was covered in shards. There were, oh god, books and papers all over, blown around by the wind, I guess, and ash. Ash? From Pokemon. Oh god, ash! Stop this! Stop invading other futures and realities! <laughs> yes, yeah, not. I was a shock. Like stepping in, oh god, I almost skipped it. Like stepping into another world. I walked around this debris, glass crunching under my feet. I really hope you had shoes on. To the window, everything was gray, but I could see the morning sun through the clouds. It was snowing ash. That can be good. Did the sea stand? I think the sea was making most of the ash. I could see smoke rising from what little horizon I had visible from my apartment. And it smelled of burnt and smoke outside. But it was also eerily quiet. What'd you do? Yeah, I coughed up my living room. Seriously though. I went to see if anyone else in the building was still alive. I took my bag and left. We're going to check on if anyone else was alive. And well, they took the corridor and called. No one answered. I knocked on the neighbor's door, but there was no answer from there either. But then I thought I heard them leave the day before. They didn't know anyone in the building? No. Not really, but I still tried knocking on everybody's door. I mean, I know I wasn't the only one who stayed inside. Did you find anyone? Let me finish. See, the thing I realized was that I just got unlucky. I found an open door halfway down the hallway facing west. All my windows faced east. It wasn't just open, it was blown open. Oh, shit! I peeked in, calling out a hello, da da da. I find myself looking out at nothing. You know, no walls, no floor, barely any roof left, no windows, no people, kitchen cabinets hanging loose above the abyss, that kind of thing. And beyond, da da da, nothing, just da da da. Run and ruins of fire, the whole downtown area, dot dot dot, gone. There was this thick, ashy snow falling everywhere, a lot of it drifting inside. A sudden gust suddenly blew a phrase full of it at me, and I gasped. <sighs> Woo! That doesn't sound good. My stupid self was standing there, mouth gave, staring, so of course I got a lungful of it. Damn idiot me. I grab I'm gonna die, of course. <laughs> so of course I got a lung, yeah, damn idiot me. I can't really do the sight of justice, though. Now, don't blame Dream Me for staring. Dream You isn't Yu Yu. She is, and she isn't. It's hard to explain. Anyway, da 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 da. 
Did you find any other survivors? I did. I thought, well, I actually bumped into one person who was doing the same thing I was. His name was Ross. Although I think he was Italian, anyway, I was just so damned happy to find I wasn't the only one alive. We hugged and he exhumed this cloud of dust when I started coughing. He explained he had gone into some of the storage rooms to try and look for survivors, but that half the building at least was pretty much destroyed. Oh geez. But there was more than just the two of you? Yes. We gathered at the bottom floor, a little group of us, Ross, me, an old lady from the ground floor, a family with two kids, the night janitor who had hid in the broom closet when the bombs hit. No one was badly hurt, but we were all coughing from the ash. Weren't you worried, I mean, about radiation? I didn't really have time to be worried about radiation. We were more worried the building would collapse on us. I mean, half of it was already gone. Okay, so what did you do with your little group? Well, first we all sat down and exchanged stories of our survival. Speculations on the causes of the attack. All of that, it was the most natural thing in the world. But soon enough, we needed to make a decision. Ross said I was the last person he found alive in our building. I suggested putting as much difference between ground zero and ourselves as possible. I argue strongly that we needed to leave right then and there, but da da da, but what? But they wanted to stay. The family with the child? He'd started feeling bad, nauseous, diarrhea. Oh, yeah. He wasn't in any shape to walk anywhere, they said. So what did you do? I backed down. Maybe staying put for now was for the best option. Was for the best after all. We all sat down and talked about what to do. And I. I know it's recording now. Uh, I hope it's. Okay, yeah. We all sat down and talked about what to do. Now I suggested we'd stay at the apartment or somewhere close to it. How come? Well, if the house hadn't fallen yet, it probably wasn't going to fall. And besides, we could stay in the lower levels. We could pull all of our food and maybe go through the empty apartments for more. It wasn't stealing. I mean, this was a survival. But the ash, the radiation. Yeah. I'm not saying it was actually a good idea. At least we got through us. The thing was, the family with the kid. The kid was getting really sick, throwing up, flimy skin. It was pretty gruesome. We were all actually getting pretty ill. Radiation poisoning? Yeah. And you? How were you feeling? I felt nauseous and dizzy. And? Well, don't you dare be dying. We spent the day looking through the rest of the apartments, gathering some food, medicine, and water. The boy wasn't getting any better, and neither were the rest of us. I think it started to dawn on us. There would be no rescue. Yeah, we got food. What did it look like outside? What does that mean? What does this mean? Tell me. <laughs> like a war film, the worst was the cries through the night of pain. I don't know if it was from the people trapped or just people in pain. We didn't know do anything about it. Why not? There was nothing to do. Hmm, alright. So what did you do next? I left the, really, that's my only option. So I'm gonna take this one can of food, really. I left on my own. I decided to leave on my own. They weren't surprised. There had been a couple of others who all had also gotten off on their own after they'd found them. This is suspiciously involved a suspiciously involved dream, you know. Tell me about it. Yeah, it's almost like a video game. So what's next? I need to get out of town. I wanted to try and find chests. I just wanted to find a safe spot somewhere to hunker down. I wanted to move, but I wasn't prepared to travel far, not by myself. What did it look like? The streets, awful, ruined buildings everywhere. Charred by fire, most of them. We had to pick our way between cars and debris, and bodies. There are so many bodies, it makes me sick just to think about it. it must have been pretty difficult to travel. Yes, although it was oddly consistent. 
I think my building was the last one directly affected by the blast. About a block in the opposite directions, there were mainly intact buildings. As much as you could call them intact, I guess still standing. What about others? Were there any other survivors on the street? Yeah, there were others. A lot of them were a lot off than me. Some were blind, others were burned, broken, or in shock. There, there just wasn't anything I could do. Where was the government? I don't know. No one knew. I hadn't heard a single ambulance siren since the event. For all we knew, there was nothing left. Did you find anything? I knew up in an apartment, a building a few blocks away. It was actually Chess's building. Chess? My da -da -da boyfriend in the dream. I mean, it was weird. Are you close? I don't know how to answer that, but I guess we were pretty steady. How steady? Well, you know, I felt there was potential. Encouraging. Anyway, since I knew where his apartment was, I thought I'd go and check. Did you have the key? Of course not. And you still go and check. But it didn't matter. When I got there, I found the door left open. He must have left in such a hurry he forgot to close it behind him properly. I still knocked on before entering, but there was no one there. Huh, so what'd you do? It was familiar to me. His apartment, I mean, we actually, I mean, when we met, we, um, say no more. Yours or mine is Sarah. Damn, what a dream. Uh huh. He had some food I could eat, fresh fruit, that kind of thing, so I evolved myself to that. There was a sofa, I took a nap. Sounds like you struck gold. Hmm, it was. Interesting. Or oh, weird to be here there. He had these pictures of his sister and him everywhere. I hadn't really noticed them before. She was in a wheelchair in most of them. And on his fridge a post it with her address and phone number. He must have really cared for her. I wasn't thinking past ten, so I took the post-it, I'm not even sure why. Anyway, I stayed overnight, but truth was that I started to feel ill. Dom! I stayed in the apartment for several days more, eating Chester's food, and looking through all of his things, no diary, Sally, and he only had a desktop computer with no power. Was that why he's staying there? No. But the truth was, I didn't really have a choice. I realized I was too weak to travel. And the ash rain turned to black sludge outside the window. I tried to keep the ash and the wet out. At first, I thought I was just tired from a long night, the stress, seeing all these bodies. But it was something worse. I wouldn't wish on anyone the nausea and diarrhea. It didn't matter what I ate, it just came all back up. Soon, I was too weak to leave the sofa. This is when you woke up. I wished I lingered. It was slow. Towards the end, I don't know how many days I'd passed, but many someone came in through the door in my delirium. I was dehydrated and in fever. I thought it was Chess who'd come home from the store with my mess, and I called out. It wasn't Chess? No. Or maybe it was. I couldn't see any longer. No, they ended me. I think it was mercy killing more than anything else. You have an incredibly fucked up sub subconscious. Yeah, you do. I have not fucking won this once. I fucking died again. But not from the fucking regular thing I died from. Yay. And? And I died. Wait, this is weird. I think I had this dream again. I wonder why. That's why really you... That was more than that. So <laughs> Yes, you've had this a bunch of fucking times now. Trust me, that's been putting me through a ton of fucking pain myself, trying to keep you alive in a fucking dream. Oh well, that was Ashley again. Um, so and so on. I'm not gonna fight Ashley anymore. I died again. This time I got killed by Mercy Killing. Thanks, guy. Thanks for whoever the fuck who Mercy killed me. Oh, fuck. I really want to redo this, but I really don't feel like getting more annoyed with another death. It's like my sixth time not availing to anything. I have never made it to the college or anywhere yet. But at least it was different from all the other times. I died a different way. Mercy Killing. This will be the name of this title. This will be the name of this episode. Mercy Killing! Yay! <laughs>
suck. It's bullshit. Bullshit in general. I like the game though. It's fun. I find it fun. It's really fun to me. Don't judge me. It's fun. I love it. Oh fuck. One day I will beat this. I cannot keep recording and failing. I promise you I will beat this with default Alice. Oh well. Well, I am Simon Sable, and I'll catch you on the flip side, YouTube. See ya.